In today's video, I want to show you step by step how to create this design using Elementor Pro. But before we get started, if you'd like to purchase Elementor for your web design projects, I have a link in the video description below. So let's get started and I'll show you step by step how to create this design using Elementor Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is to delete what we have here so I can show you how to create this from scratch. So I'm going to come over here to the top and just get rid of this design. So first things first, we're going to need a single container. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and we're going to kick off our design with Flexbox. So I'm going to come over here and choose my structure. So I'm going to go with this direction here facing down. And now that we have this first container, we're also going to need two containers inside this first container. So we're gonna click here on this plus button to add our element. And our element here is going to be the container. So I'm gonna drag and drop it. Now remember, I said we need two of these, so I'm gonna right click and duplicate it. So now I have these two, but I need them side by side. So to do that, I'm gonna come back to the top container one more time, and we are now going to change the direction to row. So now I have them side by side. The next step now is to uh, make sure I add my minimum height here. So I'm first of all going to change this from pixels to VH. Next, I'm gonna set this to 100. So this just ensures that my design is going to fill the main page of, um, or the screen of my design or my um, computer. All right, so now that I have these, the next step now is to add all our elements in here. So my first element is going to be my image. So I'm gonna come over here drag and drop it. I'm going to click over here. Now for this design to work, you're going to need a product without a background. So basically we need a PNG with transparency. So all we need is going to be the product itself. So I'm going to come over here and click and then click on select. So you notice now that this product here does not have a background. Okay. So now that I have this, on the left here, we're going to need the text that goes along with it with the call to action. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. We're gonna start off with our heading, drag and drop it. Next, we're going to need a description text. Click here on add element, drag and drop it. And then finally, we're going to need our button. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, drag and, and make sure when you drop it, it's, it has to be uh, right below our content here. So as we can see, our design is not centered. Everything is stuck there at the top. Now that's not what we want. So I'm going to click back on this container like that. And now I'm going to align items. So I'm gonna click here to align item center. And it's time now to go in and add our background color. So remember, we have our main container here selected. And I'm gonna click once again, just to make sure that I've selected it. The next step now is to add our background color. But notice how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in a slightly different way. I'm going to click here on style and then click here on classic. Next, we're going to uh, click here on color. But instead of choosing our color from here, that's not what we want because we need a color that's very, very accurate. So I'm going to click on this color sampler and then just click anywhere on my product just like that. Now notice that Elementor now has given me this these colors here, which I can cycle through. So these are the colors that was sampled from my product. So I can now choose which color I want to use for this design. So this is my first one, which I'm leaning more towards. We also have this one here, which I don't really like. We have this one here. Again, that's not good. This one could work and this one could work too, but I like this the best. So I'm going to click once and now that has been selected. The next step now is to add our text and change the color. So I'm gonna click here on my title and I'm just gonna say new beats. And now it's time to go into the style tab where we're going to change our color. Now this is very straightforward. I'm gonna change this to white so that my color here really stands out from the background. So again, I'm gonna click on my little icon here and change my font. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's start with 16. Yeah, I think I like that. I think 16 works but I may want to bring it down a little bit. Let's try 14. So you really have to play with this to see what really works for you. All right, so I also need this weight to be black. So I really want this uh, nice and very bold. So let's go with extra bold. I think that's better. All right, so transform. I wanna make sure that this is uppercase. Okay, great. So that's looking much, much better now. 
Let's move on and let's start working on the description text. So I'm clicking here on this little uh, pencil icon, come over here to style, and then I'm going to change my color. Again, I'm just gonna drag it. This time I'm just gonna leave it at a very slight gray, like that, and that's pretty cool. Next, I'm now on my button, I'm gonna click over here. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna say um, buy now as my call to action. And what I'm also going to do here is to make sure that my button here is large because everything here on the page looks very, very big. We may even try extra large to see how that looks like. In fact, I think that works. All right, so next I'm gonna come over here to style. And all I'm going to do here is to make sure that I don't have my border radius. So I want everything to look like that. And for my text color, I'm just gonna make sure that this is set to white, but you can also set it to black if you really want the text to stand out. Now let's just do a bit of, a, a bit of um, uh, settings here to my text. So let me just increase the size a little bit. So let me go with 1.4. Okay, and I'm also going to change this from medium to bold. Okay, so now my call to action is nice and bold. And uh, as I'm looking at this, I think the button here is way too big. Let's go back and change this. So uh, we're gonna change this from extra large to large. How about that? Okay, so that's looking great. And now let's do a quick preview. And we can see now that our design looks really nice, but this does not look great on mobile devices. So this is where we need to go in so I can show you how to make sure that this looks great. So if I click here on my tablet view, see that it's not too bad. Uh, we can still read what's here, but when we come over here to the mobile, everything goes crazy. And ideally, this is not the design we want to have. So let's start fixing this now. So we're going to start here with the tablet view. I'm going to bring my elements here back. So the first thing I'm going to do is to work on my text here. So I'm going to come over here to typography and reduce this a little bit, uh, maybe down to even 9.2. Okay, so now my product there is visible and also uh, my headphones are visible. In fact, you know what? Let's bring this down even a bit more so we can see more of uh, our products. Okay, so I really like that. I think that works. But if you want to uh, change the layout itself, you can always um, come over here to content. In fact, you need to make sure that this is uh, selected. And then you want to come over here to layout and then just change um, the column structure itself so that now you have the text at the top and uh, all your content like that. You can even change the direction and have the headphones first. But you know what? I think this looks great uh, when these are side by side in this view. Next, let's take a look at our mobile portrait. So here, straight away, I wanna change the size of my text. So I'm gonna click here. And first of all, let's align it and then reduce the size by coming over here to style. So over here on style, you wanna make sure you click on typography and then just re start reducing this slowly until you are at a size that suits the design. So I'm gonna go with six for this. Next on the description text, I'm gonna again click here, make sure it's centered. Now this is fine as it is. So all I need is just to center it. Over here is the button. Again, I'm gonna center it so that uh, everything just looks great uh, like that. Now my headphones are on the bottom. If you're not a fan of that, you can always uh, scroll to the top, click on this main container here like that, and then change the column uh, direction and reverse it. So now we have the headphones on the top and we have our description and our call to action on the bottom. Now notice how easy it is to go in and uh, change all uh, the layout of things on your page. Now this is uh, possible because we're using Flexbox. This is why when we started off our design, I went straight on and started using Flexbox. So it's very, very important that you use a Flexbox. Now let's go back to our main view like that and our preview. So now this is looking great. Now this type of design, you normally see it on um, an Apple or GoPro websites where they highlight the product and the product has a color that uh, works with it in the background. You can do this technique with pretty much any product, but like I said, the technique here is to make sure that the product does not have a background because that's how you easily go in and choose it and also to use the sampler. So the sampler is also very important 
This comes in uh, uh, Elemental Pro, so it makes it very, very easy to choose your color that works with your product. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this design. Uh, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.